Good afternoon, Miami Art Studio. I'm Gabby Edo. And I'm Brianna DLT. Today is Friday, March 10th, 2023. And Moss Media Live starts now. Tomorrow, March 11th, the SAT will be held here at Moss from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Get a good night's rest and don't forget to bring everything you'll need for the test. Also tomorrow, students in the Marine Environmental Club have a beach cleanup from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Crandon Park. Help keep your community clean and safe while hanging out with friends. Here's Bree DLT and Melanie Anon with a baking tutorial on how to make a Moss-themed confetti cake. Happy Friday everyone, I'm Melanie Anon and I'm Brianna DLT and today we'll be making an extra sweet moss cake. We're not the best bakers so we used a box cake. For the frosting you'll need one cup of butter, one pound of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and one teaspoon of salt. Place room temperature butter into a bowl and turn your mixer on high. Once your butter is fluffy, gradually add in powdered sugar, heavy whipping cream, and salt. Use a spatula to spread the frosting evenly onto the cake board. Place one cake on the board and spread frosting. Next, stack the other cake on top and pour sprinkles into the hole created. Cover the hole and frost with icing. Finally, add your desired decorations to the cake. This has been Mel and Pri. This is our final creation. Now back to newsroom. Students, a reminder that next week, Tuesday, is Pi Day. Don't forget to pay to choose which students and teachers you want to see get pied. Hey Bree, do you remember last year's Pi Day? Yeah, it was funny seeing teachers and students get pied. Speaking of past knowledge, here's Miguel Rojas with this week's Habit of Mind. Between this week and next week, four of our magnets, broadcasting, law, theater, and vocals are going to be out for their annual competitions. Let's take a look about how they're applying their past knowledge to help them prepare. For this year's Nationals competition going to Long Beach, California, our students have been hard at work for months, practicing almost every single weekend, and then in class doing different rounds, and then giving feedback, critiques, watching past footage, analyzing it all together. It's been a lot of fun. From past competition, something that we've really learned and we've continued to further improve on is never underestimating where a story can come from. Pitching in story ideas, no matter whether you're going to use it or somebody else could use it. We prepare by working in groups with one another, and then Dr. Del Rio and Ms. Salazar. They give us our critiques, how we did, what we should add, and what we should not add. All four of these magnets hope to pick up where they left off from last year's competitions and use that success to help them gain the winning confidence needed. We always have um, some feedback, um, no matter how great the kids perform. Adjudicators have ways to clean up details that are kind of tricks of the trade. Through that experience, the kids will gain an immense amount of not just knowledge, but skills. Every single year, it's a little bit different. Last year was the most different because it was the first time that we were able to take a main stage, which was on your feet. It was a lot, you know? So this year is a lot smaller. It's a small cast. It's a musical, but it's like canned, which means that the music is recorded and so it's a lot less crazy. It's a lot of fun uh, with the pieces that we have going. I'm very like positive that the pieces are gonna do really, really wonderfully. We wish the best of luck to all the magnets on their upcoming competitions. I'm Miguel Rojas supporting from Moss Media Live. Next week, Tuesday the 14th, is our monthly coffee house from 6 to 8 p.m. You don't wanna miss a night full of singing, fun, and memories. March kicks off National Women's Month. Here's Natalie Moreno with some fun women's history trivia. In honor of Women's History Month, we will be doing a Women's History Trivia. Question 1. Who was the first and only tennis player to achieve a career Golden Slam in both singles and doubles? A. Steffi Graf B. Serena Williams or C. Martina Naratalova Correct answer. B. Serena Williams Question 2. Hope is the thing that feathers is one of the most well-known poems by which re-owned writer? A. Emily Dickinson, B, Sylvia Plath, or C, Ruby Core. Question three, which singer won the Grammy Award for Album of the Year most often, three times? A, Adele, B, Taylor Swift, or C, Lauryn Hill? Answer B. Taylor Swift. Question 4. 
Who was the first woman to run for president of the United States? A. Kamala Harris B. Hillary Clinton or C. Victoria Woodhull Correct answer, C, Victoria Woodhill. Thank you for participating in this week's Women's History Trivia. Stay tuned for next week. Students, next week, Thursday the 16th, there will be a driver safety presentation in the pack during last block. A reminder that next week, Friday, March 17th, is a lucky jean day, where students can wear a green shirt with jeans for $2 to show their St. Patrick's Day spirit. Thanks for watching and make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for more updates. I'm Gabi Edo. And I'm Brianna DLT. Stay classy, Moss family. And have an amazing weekend.